Oh, boy. Polar opposite halves. 34-31 San Fran can and did. First go, too many big plays. First go, too much talent. Lions, game was way too long for them. They played an outstanding first 30 minutes. Rubok says it's a 60-minute game. Detroit loses a 24-7 lead. Niners erupted for 27 points in a row. Niners scored five straight possessions against a defense that made, made it tough on everybody all year long to put the ball in the end zone. Lions dominated the first 30, lost the final 30, lost the game. Huge amount of criticism. Coach Dan Campbell gambling three times on fourth downs, going for it rather than taking the field goal. Though field goals, that's not a guarantee you're going to get three. But boy, when you get a chance to get points on the board in the playoffs, I think you need to do that rather than take it off the board and go for a first down. Niners defense held them on fourth downs twice. San Francisco, huge fumble recovery. Third down meltdown. Third quarter meltdown was unbelievable because it changed the whole momentum of the game. And suddenly a stunned San Francisco crowd became a furious San Francisco crowd in the third and fourth quarter. And then you had the unbelievable fluke 51-yard catch by Brandon Ayuk <laughs> that ricocheted off the guy's that face awesome. mask. <laughs> Brock Purdy broke their back. He scrambled four different times, wound up getting 51 yards rushing, and he threw for 261. Those scrambles really killed Detroit. Christian McCaffrey, after a slow start, they started, instead of going down the field, started spreading the field. He wound up with 132 all-purpose yards. Debo, eight receptions for 89 yards. Jared Goff threw for 273 and a touchdown, but disappeared in the second half of that football game when he got knocked around. What, what's too bad is, I mean, the Lions ran the ball. They ran for 182 yards. Normally in society, you run for 182, you're going to win. They ran for 182 and they lost the in lead. Society. <laughs> and Mike Shanahan, 8-3 and three now in postseason play. Shanny the son might be better than Shanny the father yeah. as a head yeah. coach. My questions after the game. Detroit, fourth down calls. Campbell deserved to get cooked on this. I mean, they did it all season long, and they were pretty successful. But points in the playoff games are so valuable. And did Brock Purdy look panic-stricken for the second week in a row? And should you be concerned about that? Or the fact that he rallied them now, back-to-back -back come from behind wins, that eases the tension there. And John Riley says Th this was an amazing game. I mean, the beginning of it, I thought it was doom and gloom for the 49ers and then Brock Purdy. And I mean, the, the script completely flipped in the third quarter after halftime. Um, but I just, you know, I feel bad for Detroit Lion fan. Ah, oh, they were so emotional, rightfully so. And, and their team had been a disgrace for decades. They're finally at the cusp of the Super Bowl with a 17 point lead and it, evaporates on them. I mean, that is so, so rough. Um, but, you know, I, you know, I was born and raised San Francisco 49er fan back as a kid. You know, I followed the team when John Brody was the quarterback and I'm rooting for the Niners, even though I'm 500 miles away, but I kind of understand why people hate on the Niners because they win all the time. Just like we used to hate on the Patriots or we'd hate on the Yankees or, you know, or the Lakers or whatever dominant team there was. The Niners are one of those teams. No doubt about it. You got to earn it. You got to learn from it. And I guarantee a year from now when they go to the playoffs, Detroit's approach, maybe their psyche will be a little bit better. You know, you want as many possessions in your pocket as you can get, you know, and if you're taking a 17 point lead and you're kicking field goals, then, then it could be 20 or 23, which makes that sucker a three or four possession game. And nobody gets off the deck when they're down by three or four possessions. That's the only beef I have with Dan Campbell is you just need to get as many points as you can any way that you can. They obviously went for the whole enchilada saying, hey, if I get the first down, punch that sucker into the end zone, then I get seven instead of three. That that was a big issue. Great games. My goodness. Uh, we'll wait to see Monday night. The TV ratings come out. We'll get to get to see what the rest of these TV ratings are for the AFC NFC championship game, because they were projecting 
because Kansas City Buffalo had drawn 50 mil. They thought somebody was going to crack 55 million wow. this weekend. But going towards the Super Bowl in two weeks, the whole world will be watching that because that's going to be that's <laughs> going to be a really good matchup. One question for you about the Super Bowl coming up. It's a two week break. There's been some years when it's only been a one week break mm -hmm. and some where it's two. I mean, why the inconsistency? Knowing the NFL, they just want to control the calendar. Okay. You know, if they could play football 11 months of the year. <laughs> they'd probably play 11 months of the year. All right. Um, yeah, it, it, it's a different feel when it's one week because it's, boom, you turn around game plan, you go to you go to the Super Bowl site for your press conferences. Here, gives you and me and everybody else, Sports Talk Radio, Podcast, TV, Sports Anchors, two weeks to talk, dissect, create, whatever. Exactly. So it, it's probably more marketing than it is anything else. Makes sense. Okay. So we got that.